it is written in Isaiah the prophet, Look, I am sending my messenger ahead of you who will prepare your way. Thanks for joining us to read God's Word together. We're in our series looking for light and we're going to look at John chapter 20 from verse 24 to 31 on this episode. When we left off, in our last episode, Jesus had risen from the grave. He's met with Mary at the tomb, and later that day stood among the disciples as they huddled in fear. Jesus gave the disciples peace, showing him his hands and his side. Jesus told them, as the Father has sent me, so I am sending you. And he breathed on them. Receive the Holy Spirit, he says. Can you imagine being in that room, in that home, locked in, afraid of the Jews, trying to figure out what to do next because your Lord had been dead and buried? They could have been waiting for something. They could have been planning what to do next. They could simply have been grieving together, unable to make sense of anything yet. But as they spent this time together, Jesus himself shows up among them and speaks peace over them. Now, Thomas, one of the twelve, wasn't there. What a terrible day to miss church. We don't know where he was, why he wasn't gathered with the other disciples, but he missed out on a powerful collective experience. The disciples told him about it, but Thomas said, Unless I see in his hands the mark of the nails and place my hands in his side, I will never believe. Do you blame him? I mean, the rest of the disciples got to see their friend and Lord in person. For them, it would not be hard to believe. Perhaps Thomas wants so badly to be with his Lord that he'll take nothing less than a personal encounter. Thomas simply wants the same opportunity. Is Thomas doubting or refusing to believe? Well, as they are gathered together again the next week, Jesus, in his grace and love, stood among them again. And Jesus speaks to Thomas, telling him to put his fingers on his wounds. Do not disbelieve, but believe. Thomas exclaims, my Lord and my God. And many more things like this Jesus did, but John wrote down just some of these encounters, signs and miracles for us so that we may believe and that we might have life in his name. It's, it's good to be honest about our doubts. I don't think it's okay to demand things of Jesus like Thomas did, but in his goodness, Jesus is always willing to meet us where we are. When in doubt, it's always good to look to Jesus and to look to his wounds. His wounds from dying on the cross, those, that's evidence of his love for us. The wounds are evidence of his sacrifice they're evidence of his victory and of his resurrection. Looking to Jesus' wounds, we can be so very assured that we are loved. As I read the passage today, think about how Thomas' attitude, both before and after, actually add credibility to the story of the resurrection. But Thomas, who was called the twin, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands and put my finger in the mark of the nails and my hand in his side, I will not believe. A week later, his disciples were again in the house and Thomas was with them. Although the doors were shut, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, put your finger here and see my hands. Reach out your hand and put it in my side. Do not doubt, but believe. Thomas answered him, my Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, have you believed because you've seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have come to believe. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples, which are not written in this book. But these are written so that you 
may come to believe that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God, and that through believing you may have life in his name. Let's pray. Jesus, thank you for your love for us, that you would choose to die like a criminal on a cross. Your wounds bring us healing and life and fullness and forgiveness of sin. And I pray that if today we've forgotten how much you, you love us, that we would look again to your wounds and see it afresh how much you want a relationship with us, how much you want to see us forgiven and made whole and experience life in your name. God, I pray that your peace would go with us, each and every one of us, wherever we go about our day today, and that we'd be filled with your Holy Spirit Pray this, Jesus, in your name. Amen.